Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. We are going to be talking about different types of agate today. So the first one, let's do the grape agate because that one is the one that I have um, the fewest pieces, you guys, and the grape agate is associated with the third eye, the crown, and the heart chakra. So this is a freeform piece of grape agate that I have. It's just literally stunning. Like, how does this even form? It's crazy to me. So beautiful. This is associated with the Cancer and Sagittarius sign. And the other piece that I have is kind of like made into a tower. And um, the healing properties for grape agate are it boosts confidence, improves memory, enhances perspective, um, and it can also help you find direction in life and help you make decisions. So look at just, just stunning, stunning, you guys. I love it. The next one that I have is, um, doo -doo -doo, is, you know what? I didn't look this one up, but we're still going to talk about it. Where did it go? Here it is. This is Crazy Lace Agate. I love this because it's more like colorful. A beautiful piece of Crazy Lace Agate that I have. And then I also have this piece of agate, you guys. And for the dang life of me, I cannot remember the name. So if you know the name of this one, drop it down below. Let a girl know. But look at look at the like patterns there. Like, are you flipping kidding me? Are you flipping kidding me? It's absolutely stunning. I love it. I can't get enough of it. Um, the next agate that I have actually quite a bit of pieces is moss agate. Um, now this is a moss agate sphere and you can see the like quartz that's in it. Literally this looks like a globe and it will usually have like, you know, um, crevices or pockets, but look at how stunning this is. And moss agate is usually associated with the Virgo and Gemini sign. So this is a beautiful sphere that I have of it. I also have um, this moss agate. This one is stunning with that quartz in it. This one, again, moss agate, which is associated with the root and heart chakra. Um, and moss agate is usually found within um, China, oh wait, the U.S., India is what I have noted, but I feel like it'd be a lot more places. This one, absolutely stunning. This one has a ton of green, you guys. Like, she is just freaking loaded, okay? Just loaded. It's can you, like, will that focus? It's like a dang forest. I love it. The other moss agate that I have is this one. This one is beautiful. Look at that druzy. Because with moss agate, you'll find it's, it has a lot of that quartz in it, too. Oh, just stunning. Like, why could I stare at this all dang day, okay? And then I also have this one. Now this one has a lot of quartz here. The Jersey pocket is so pretty. This one has like more um, 
I guess like different tones of green, but it's so pretty. You can see, can y'all see the rainbows in that quartz? Oh, just sweet Jesus. This white almost looks like milk. It's so gorgeous. So that is moss agate, you guys. And then I also have um, flower agate. So let me get all my flower agate pieces. I love flower agate because it is so different. Like, I mean, yes, every crystal is so different, but the inclusions within flower agate to me are just absolutely flipping stunning. Okay, now some of these I'm not going to stand up because I don't want myself to knock them over. Oh yeah, let me show you this before. This is my gorgeous snake agate and I don't know what um, type of agate this is but I almost think it's like a moss agate just because of those specks in there. What do you guys think? But yeah, agate is just stunning with all the different um, like kind of materials that get mixed together. I love it. Absolutely love it. All right, this is my collection of flower agate. So if you can see, like look at all of those little inclusions. How stunning. How stunning. Like those flower inclusions. This one has like red in it. And I'm going to show you guys all of these up close because of how crazy interesting they are when you look at them. Okay, now this one. I hope it's focusing for you guys. This one on the top, do you guys see that? It has like little speckles and little dots. And those little speckles and red dots are all throughout it. Like what? It's so cool. Um, so flower agate is associated with all of the zodiac signs. All of the zodiac signs. Not that if a crystal isn't so associated with your zodiac sign, you can't get it. Go ahead and get it. Go ahead and get it. No limitations. This is a little fat baby. Um, flower agate is also associated with the heart, root, and third eye chakra. This one. Like, look at that flower. It's like, bam. Wham, bam, chicken, ma'am. Um, which one? Oh, this one is, now see, this one has like a jersey pocket in it. Just beautiful. So gorgeous. I love it. These are like my mini ones. Um, the properties of flower agate include um, protecting the, protecting yourself from fear and self-doubt. Is this, am I shaking or is the table shaking? Or is it my leg? This one is stunning. This one even has some like pyrite in it. Like, are you flipping kidding me? So pretty. Oh, Lord. And then this one. I love it. Y'all need to get yourself some flower agate. Indefinitely. Um, it can manifest your dreams, your goals. And it's also good with um, comforting and grounding. Now, this is a heart that I have. So beautiful. And what I like about flower agate is that, I don't know, like, I like the clearness of it. Like, look at those little speckles on top. Can you guys see that? It's so neat. I do also have two cubes of flower agate. And I want to see, you guys, sometimes, now this is a blue light, um, flower agate sometimes can look cool underneath a blue light, but I think my um, ring light is like messing it up. 
This is a pendant that I have, so you can see in the top it's drilled. I just have to figure out what to do, like make something out of it. It's beautiful. The flowers on the bottom, like just gorgeous. And this one is probably one of my favorite pieces. Um, it's kind of like chunky, druzy on the bottom, the like beautiful stripes, the druzy pocket, and then like the flowers on top just are absolutely stunning. Y'all, I love this piece. It's so beautiful. So you guys, let me know what type of, type of agate is your favorite piece. And you guys, please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe to my video. And y'all, I'll see you in my next one. Thank you.